Well hello there lads and ladies and welcome back to the final episode of at least Domination Battle of Girls and Panzer. Well, I don't know. I've been splitting these up into about 20 minutes each or so, so I feel like this won't be the last one for Domination Battle, but it'll probably be one out of two or maybe three, depending on how long it takes for us to uh, complete it. So, we're going in with Aurora Girls Academy, so let's get into it, shall we, lads and ladies? Let's go. Where it all started. Let's finish it where it all started. ちょっと見せてみろ。主催者が月間戦車道でスポンサーがアラブの石油を売ったと。五千勝ち抜けば空前絶後のスケール、かつデラックスでハイパワーな商品が贈呈されます。だってももちゃん。ええ、ちょっ
石油王ってきっとお金持ちだよね何くれるのかなひょっとしたら石油王さんがバレー部復活に協力してくれるかもしれませんねああ石油王だったらバレー部復活どころかバレー部専用体育館も作ってくれるかもしれない I feel for these girls アラブの石油王か Just the goddamn volleyball court. Secure, gasoline, and other than that, you know, 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 Power of gaming is here to stay for these two. <laughs> Free, I should say. Okay, Jesus Christ. Um, the, yeah, the Abrahams. Are they up to date? I feel like they're up to date. Like, they're, they're America's most well known tanks, I believe. They're quite up to date, so yeah, I think they're pretty damn good. Although, against a leopard, mm, I'm not sure. I think a modern day leopard would probably. Oh, it's kind of a hard tale, really. I feel like maybe the Abrams would have a. a st it depends on the drivers. It depends on the drivers and the crew, but if you ask me, I think. Maybe the Abrams might just cinch it if they were in a firefight together, you know. It's just the only way to get to the Leopard is at the back, basically, but, yeah. Well, that's not even true either. They've got decent armor at the back. It's just the sides that need more work, basically, if they need more armor. But, yeah. Yeah,みんないい反応だね。じゃ、そういうわけだから、やる気出して頑張っていこう。西住、今回も任せたぞ。as always. <laughs> yeah, I never noticed that about Momo. She had a choker on. Well, it wasn't really a choker. Well, technically, that's what you would call a choker. It's a ribbon. I always... F I looked at that from afar and I thought, wait, why is she wearing, like, the tank mic that they wear in battle? Also, I didn't notice in battle if she wore the bow over the top of the tank mic or not but that would actually be quite a nice touch actually if she had a bow made out of that you know i don't know it just look interesting hi miho hi okay how are you I love that she just calls her oddball. <laughs> no, you are forever known as oddball. Arisa-san,どうかしたんですか?きっと何か悪いものでも食べたんじゃないかな?お腹が痛いんですか?Arisa-san。なんで私がフェアプレイって言ったらそんなにびっくりするのよ?だってアリサさんってそういうキャラじ
Okay, I don't mind. I'm, I can't believe I'm saying this now or after all the bleeding episodes. But why do I have to listen to the tank engine and you lot talking at the same time? Like, guaranteed, some people can't understand Japanese, but if you're native to the language, sometimes you want to hear what the hell they're saying, you know? And it's just hard to hear that when you can hear the bellowing of a fucking tank engine in the background. You know, my bad, but still. Uh, no, they break. No, I don't know. They're a bit too small. They get shot at pretty easily compared to other things. Also, that's a funny thing about the Firefly. The Firefly, I believe, was an English design, I believe. It was an English design that the Americans used an awful lot. And that's another funny thing about the T-28. I researched it. It's a Soviet tank. But then there are other sites that say that it's American. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe that was a collaboration? But when has the Soviet Union and the USA ever collaborated apart from, like, you know, World War II? Then came the Cold War and then, you know, everything went out of whack, basically. So I'm just trying to think to myself, are the sites telling me a lie? Or is the information on the T-28 not accurate i'm not sure but yeah you'll have to go you guys will have to let me know because i'm really not certain about the t28's nationality i don't know what it is either russian or american i don't, well, I don't know what it is even an idiot can operate it so you said you did not just say that. We are not selling our tanks. How dare you? Only ten? Really? Only ten? It's not. It's not. The two tanks that I would get rid of are the Porsche Tiger. And don't jump down my throat, the M3 Lee. Yes, I know, I know it has a double turret, you know, I know it's a decent little tank, but I just can't stand the design of it. It looks like a moving box. You know what it looks like? It looks like the Bob tank that the British made just after the inauguration of Winston Churchill. I'm just thinking to myself, what the fuck were you thinking when you made that Bob tank? Didn't New Zealanders, they, didn't Kiwis actually use that during uh, a certain instance? I'm not so sure when, but it's interesting, though, how they used it. It was kind of a rubbish tank. It was going at, like, 10 miles an hour or something like that, quite slow. And it wasn't very well protected. Like, you, you should really research it, the barb tank. It's a very funny-looking tank. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't have something to work on all day and night. Yeah. Good and this. Bless them. Awesome. They don't want to get rid of it. It's their baby. Ooh, we'll get Darjean in for cool. The interesting thing. <laughs> There's a joke that reminds me of the Eastern Front uh, in World War One. It was from um, Blackadder Goes Forth, where um, Rowan Atkinson plays as Blackadder. If you haven't seen the series, please go and watch it. It's so funny. It has four seasons. I think the fourth one is easily my favourite. Anyway. He's telling the joke about, um, you know, he says, oh, no, the Russians have pulled out of the war. And then Hugh Laurie, bless him, George, he's a bit of a moron, basically. He says, like, ah, oh, well, yeah, that showed them, those sausage-eating swines. And then, <laughs> and then Red Luckheader then says to him, George, the Russians are on our side. <laughs> oh, are they? 
Yes, they've abandoned the Eastern Front, and you know what that means is that 20 million odd Germans are now coming over to the Western Front, which they use where they're going to use my balls as target practice. <laughs> And they've abandoned the Eastern Front. And they've overthrown Nicholas II, who used to be bizarre. Who used to be the Tsar, boy. <laughs> it's such a good series, you need to watch it. You don't have any helmets. <laughs> ah. Koromori Mine, my waifu. Well, I should actually say my two waifus. I've actually grown on Maho now. Like, after those... <sighs> those spicy little, uh... Delsons, yeah, they She's definitely grown on me, yeah. She's definitely grown on me, Maho. Hello, my love. Yeah, I was expecting Erica to like spit venom at her or something. <laughs> to everyone else, she's just such a vile person, but to Maho, she's like a little puppy. It's so strange. I think the only reason why she's like that towards her is because of the mistake she made in leading them into that dangerous situation which got Kome nearly off guard and her drowning basically. That's probably why she's so hard on her. マホさんにはお手に話してるのにね。きっと西住さんのことが気になるんじゃないか。はあ。気になる子をつい<笑><笑> Where is it? It was, it was here, wasn't it? Okay, I'm not sitting around to find out. Bye bye, love you, sis. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, I already got it. I nearly killed myself because I thought I didn't have a bocco. Jesus Christ. Thank God for that little thing underneath the two tanks telling me I have all the bocco. Oh, damn it. Oh. <sighs> well done, ladies. Yeah. お笑いは強い。エリカももう分かっているだろう。ありがとう、お姉ちゃん。エリカさん。今回は負けを認めてあげるけど、次は私たちが勝つわ。ありがとう、お姉ちゃん。タイピンへのスープの元だ。こちら
Oh, funny thing I saw the other day. <laughs> there was some just stop oil morons uh, in the road trying to block off a tanker of oil. And I was looking at it and I thought, what are they doing? That's not what they think it is. And then someone asked, what the hell are those idiots doing? And I said, oh yeah, they're just blocking the truck. And then he said, yeah, but that's for cooking oil. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, they're absolute morons. They honestly think being a nuisance to society is going to be a good way of having us listen to them. No, that just makes you more of an idiot and more of an enemy to the general public. Like... You know, be a little bit more tactful about how you do things, you know? Don't be inconsiderate. That's a bit much. Fuck, there's a fly in here. Fuck off! Fucking fly. Fucking piss off. Piss off. Oh, it's Pravda. Hello, Katusha. Not today, sweetie. Katusha <laughs> How are you all mumbling about? I don't like it. I don't like it. Katusha, I'm enjoying the ride. I'm not going to be able to help you. Mimo, can you bring me some ears? This is perfect. Clara in cat ears. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. <clears throat> yeah. Territory? We're in an amusement park and it's summer. <laughs> you are on death's door as much as I am to you, dear. Bring it on. I think I'm just going to go straight for the flag. I feel confident. How the hell did I even miss that? Oh my god, hello! That's a KV2! That's a KV2! Fuck! I'm coming for you, Katushi! I'm coming for you, Katushi! Oh, why am I even bothering with Nona? She's in impenetrable. Get your ass over here! Get your crummy ass over here, you bitch! Bam! I'm coming! Yes! Get in! Should have protected your gnome. Your gnome, <laughs> I meant to say. Thanks for the match. この
どんなにあがいても何をしようと負けてしまうそれが負けイベントかっちゃんは感じないなりか like rolling a natural one in D &D. なんだかよくわからないけどノンナ一体どうしたのはいクラーラが猫ニアさんの猫耳をどこで飼えるのか聞きたいそうです何それだけ全然大したことないじゃない Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe it's a Persian. Hmm. Tell to go with it. Don't mind me. <clears throat> don't mind me. <laughs> I'm more of a Kitsune guy myself, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Like it. You're practically the same height, calm down. Probably. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up. It's off to the gulag with you two girls. For 30 days. <laughs> For a whole month. <laughs> I love that there's that rolling joke where the rubles are like days <laughs> training on specific things.